isolines. The appearance of our solid model when we're in the wireframe is controlled by isolines. Right now we're in conceptual. Let's change that to 2D wireframe. And so we're in 2D wireframe here. And also I go over here to just plain wireframe. Same thing. Okay. And uh, essentially, uh, right now the default value for isolines is 4. And I can change that. There's two different places to change it. Number one, we can go up into our options. And I go into my options. And I go to display. And I go to contour lines per surface. That's one place. I could also go into my view tab and I can go to my visual styles manager. In my visual styles manager I have contour lines and I'm going to change this value say to 12. And I'm going to hit OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to home and I'm going to create a cylinder. And notice I get 12 ISO lines. And I'm going to do the same here for a cone. And now I get more representation of wires in my wireframe. So I get basically 12 different variations of wires versus the four that I had by default. So uh, ISO lines control my wireframe display. They have no regards to my plotting values. Um, and they can be set in two places. They can be set in my visualized, going, uh, excuse me, view, and going over to my visual styles. And in my visual styles, in my contour lines. Or they can be done in my options and they can be set here with contour lines per surface. The default value is 4.